Hey, Dr. LaPerry at Jacksonville Center for Reproductive Medicine. We're in the process of going through a series of videos where we're talking about in vitro fertilization and pre-implantation genetic testing. Is it worth it? Does it hurt the embryo? Um, does it affect our success rates? Um, previously, we talked about pre-implantation genetic testing for single gene problems, PGTM, uh, and many times that uh, is a very effective way to determine whether or not embryos are affected by a genetic condition that someone can transmit to their baby. Um, but basically, when we do pre-implantation genetic testing and the embryo uh, undergoes a biopsy of the cells that become the placenta, it's kind of hard to think, you know, wouldn't the embryo be damaged by doing that? Uh, and to be honest, when we first started doing PGT uh, years ago, the biopsy used to be done on day three, where the embryo is six to eight cells. Um, and we did find that taking one cell from the embryo made a difference, actually. The implantation rate goes down. So we were really concerned that we were potentially causing a reduction in pregnancy rates. Um, and then with newer technologies and the ability to culture embryos uh, to day five, we found that uh, embryos actually did quite well after biopsies of the trophectoderm that we kind of talked about before, which is that the cells that are kind of on the outside of the embryo. Um, so we haven't found that there's um, uh, reductions in uh, fertility rates really, or doesn't seem to be that there's damage done to the embryos. Although I would argue that um, a lot of times when you talk to embryologists, they, they probably would rather be non-invasive on the embryo if they could many times. And, um, you know, we tend to kind of uh, agree with that unless it's going to make a really big difference for, for someone's family. In the next series, we're going to talk about the controversies that uh, have arisen since pre-implantation genetic testing kind of took over the fertility world uh, several years ago.